Okay, here I actually want to use what we learned about the properties of the adaptive point to create a rig for my panel and this will be a seamless panel so that I can have a panel with thickness but I can uh, get a seamless finish when I put it in my model. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say set that plane I want to place a point and I'm going to repeat this for all four points of my model. I think I said before I could also over here I could use the uh, the tab key so if I'm out of the command and I do the tab key to find the face that I want select it and then go in place just an optional way of drafting I'm going to window around this and I'm going to go to the filter and I'm going to select uh, check none and then just select the reference points so I've got the, it tells me up here, I've got the four reference points selected and you remember before that we noticed that they had an offset parameter that I could go in and give it a value like one foot and drive them up or maybe a, maybe a bit more, let's say five feet just so you can see it. And then the other thing that I could do is I could actually put a parameter on that, that offset uh, property. So on the box to the right, when I click on that, I can say let's add a parameter that we're going to call uh, panel depth and put that in there. So that way if panel depth changes this these heights will change. <clears throat> now I want to connect up the uh, the geometry. The, the, so there's the, the planes at the bottom and I need to create something on the top so that I can create a form between the between those connected points and the plane on the bottom. First thing is I'm going to go to the reference line and line and I'm going to turn on the 3D snapping. So what I'm doing is actually making a, a grid. This is just easier for me to do it that way. So making a, making a closed loop made up of reference lines that runs around the top. Remember the power of this is that if this changes it's actually adjusting the all of the related objects. I'm going to select I want to just point something out before we finish with this. I want to point out a property of the adaptive point that I haven't mentioned before. If you look at an adaptive point it has a orientation property. The auto calculate means that it, it automatically uh, bisects the angle between uh, adjoining panels so that if you want a seamless finish this is what's actually accomplishing that. It's taken the say you had 60 degrees between the faces of the two adjoining panels it's going to bisect that and create faces uh, here where the angle would be 30. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense the way I describe it, but um, you'll see what I mean when I when I do it. So if I if I hold the control key for the top, and the control key for the reference lines at the bottom, and say create form, you know it looks exactly the same as the other one. But let's save this. Uh, let's save this as a family called um, sample rigged, rigged form. And let's load that into the project. And now what I want to do is under on that curve face if I replace the extruded form with the rigged form you'll see a seamless a seamless connection with no gaps between the faces here. So you see that the faces are all are closed. 